This episode of Dean Attempts to Learn is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can purchase guitar and bass tablature books edited and approved by the musicians themselves. If you're a fan of learning awesome music, head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. That's code word DEAN for 15% off. All right, welcome back to another episode of Dean Attempts to Learn. My name is Dean. Hello. Uh, today we're going to work on some... Oh, by the way, I just finished watching The Witcher. Uh, I hadn't watched all of it yet. I watched a bit of it on tour. And it's great. I just want to be friends with Henry Cavill. He's just great. He's just... he He's just... I was going to say he looks great. He does look great. Um, uh, but uh, but he looks great. Now that's all I can think about. Uh, no, he's just like so awesome. His voice is exactly like the game. And it's just like... Man, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So today I'm going to work on some Shadow of Intent. This is a band that we toured with quite a while ago. Uh, middle of 2018 or something. And uh, and they were awesome then, and they're awesome now. And they just put out a, n- a new album, I think, a few months ago. Or maybe it was, like, middle of last year. I don't fucking know. Um, but they do have a uh, tab book out for that album, On Sheet Happens. So I figured I'd take a look at a solo. I was going to drink my coffee, and now I'll drink my coffee. I was going to take a look at a solo from a song called Barren and Breathless Macrocosm. So they're in a different tuning. Um, the thing about that is you know that I'm lazy. I'm not going to start tuning my guitar. What the hell do you think this is? A tuning show? So uh, so we're going to work on the solo, and we're just going to take it and tune it up or, or whatever. Um, here's the part, uh, I think. Oh, is that the solo? This, this is the solo. Uh, let's do it without a count in. I'm still learning the... Uh, New Guitar Pro 7.5. I don't know. Let's get the volume up real quick. Okay. It's not too long, which is great. Um, I have already warmed up today. I was like in my bedroom playing. You know how we do it. Guitar players, we're in our bedrooms all the time. Uh, so I'm trying to work on a new setup here a little bit. I've got my camera there and it's not bright enough and my microphone is not loud enough. So there's all that. Anyway. And probably now my face is out of focus. Oh. And there I am, very in focus. I'm going to start with a clean tone real quick. Uh, and we're going to play just, um, just the solo, uh, sorry, just solo this channel here. And we're going to take the click off, and we're going to slow it down a little bit as well. Uh, like I said, still working on the getting used to Guitar Pro 7.5. I have the tempo there. Whoa, what the hell's going on? No, no, that's not what I wanted. All right, I'm back at the solo. Whoa, it's weird with the click. Let's try with the click again. Okay, um, one thing I might try to do real quick is just play it in standard tuning and transpose um, the solo because I'm not hitting any open strings. So it's gonna be pretty easy for me to uh, just take this whole thing and and transpose it um, again. You know how we do, we're not gonna do this, uh, uh, we're not gonna tune anything down, we're not doing that. So they are in, uh, they're playing a six string B, uh, drop B tuning. So if I do dropped D tuning and I'll, uh, no, yeah, let's adjust the fingering. I don't want to adjust the fingering. No, 
I want to keep it the same way that he wrote it. So we'll play it in drop D and we'll keep the fingering. And in this, we don't even touch the low string anyway, so we don't even have to tune. This is how I like to learn. I, I want to learn the uh, the piece, and uh, and that's it. I don't care about playing it live with anybody. I'm just learning all the techniques out of it, basically. All right, I'm going to start with without chorus. I'm using my uh, Yamaha THR-10X. See you later. Okay, so I might change the fingering a little bit just to make it a bit easier for myself. If you want to follow along, you can grab the tab for this at sheethappenspublishing.com sheet and use my code word DEAN for an extra 15% off at checkout. It's not so bad. Thank you to everybody that's watching uh, our uh, our other videos right now actually we're doing claire and i and my wife are doing some videos together so if you haven't checked any of those out go fucking watch them they're on this channel uh okay uh how the hell do you change the percentage i sound like a fucking old guy there you go 60 percent okay we'll do a bit of a count in as well so that we can sort of keep track of it and we're in four four i think Sing it out. I wasn't missing a note, but I was missing an extra hit on that 14th fret on the G string, my friends.
right, let's try with the song. The power of hybrid picking, everybody. You got to keep that hybrid picking in your technique uh, toolkit. I don't know. Because uh, I'm hitting that first note with a hybrid pick. It's got to happen, everybody. One wrong note, but that's okay. Definitely some hybrid picking going on here, um, or at least for me. Pretty high up there. I don't like it. So, is Shadow of Intent like a video game thing? I think I heard it was like a Halo thing. I don't know. Because I'm like, damn, this band is getting like really big. And then somebody's like, oh, their name is like a Halo thing. I'm like, oh, that would help. Anybody that would hear about the band, they'd be like, oh, I love Halo. And then they hear the music, and the music is great. So, it's like, oh, you know, it would sort of at least uh, help them. Uh, to start, um, just for people hearing them. Cause I know that when we toured with them last year or not last year in 2018, uh, people were singing along to the songs and it was their first tour. That doesn't generally happen. comments if it's some i think i heard it was like the name of a ship or something i didn't really play halo i uh, i did have an xbox but i played uh, uh mass effect a lot and i played uh some other fucking games i don't know an xbox xbox one is what i'm talking about another not the original xbox Okay, so the next part is lots of pedal tone stuff. Um, he's doing any hybrid picking. I'm doing all hybrid picking, everybody.
Okay, I gotta go back to the tab a little bit. I'm about halfway through though, which is nice. I'm trying to memorize it, you know what I'm saying? Try not to look at the tab too much, everybody. I don't like that part of it. Let me move the camera over a little bit. Yeah, guys, I don't like that part of it. I like the sound of it, I just don't like playing it. Okay, so um, what we need to do is link those two parts together. In my head, they're not quite linked together. Uh, it's sort of disjointed. There's a, a part, and then another part, and then another part. So I gotta link them together. slow because I can because I can let me try that again I sort of uh, I wasn't paying attention to the rhythmic markings so I forgot what the fuck to play. So it's three of each high note, three of the 24th fret, three of the 22nd fret. I'm gonna try that thing again. Still not totally linked together, but it's getting there. percent speed by the way try by myself Uh, hybrid picked sort of section is I don't know it's like tied to something else in my brain fucking oh well we'll get to the next part we got a tapping thing coming up next tapping alright get out of here with the count in I don't need you anymore let's play full speed here or something okay it's pretty fast
could do a Toby Morelli special. This little guy that, uh, well, not the little guy. I mean, Toby is a little, uh, shorter. He's a, not the largest gentleman I've, met, I've ever met, but he and I do a little thing that he came up with. <laughs> So it's basically like taking the pick. Uh, so this is his thing, his technique, by the way. You're taking like the uh, the rounded sort of edge of this pick. Let me get that focus for you. Okay, so you got this rounded sort of the, the edge, right? And so the string goes like, you've got one note, uh, one note, sorry, that's a bad way of describing it. As soon as you hit the string with the pick, it frets the note at the top. And then when you pass the pick across, it actually does like sort of a pull off. And then you go back across and it frets it and then pull off, fret, pull off, fret, pull off. So you get sort of like this really fast, uh, pretty obnoxious sounding technique. Uh, it takes a while to master, but uh, hey, I mean, I got lots of time. So, all right, so we're gonna do that tapping thing. Just let me drink some coffee. Okay, the tapping thing, I think I got. Let's learn after that. Oh, get out of here. Okay, so it does a half step bend on the, on the high E string of the 24th fret. That's great, because I don't want to do a full step bend. Let's take the whole thing and slow down a little bit. 50%. There's some... Um, that one last one what really oh, okay that's interesting that's not what it sounded like when I heard it uh, full speed. That's very interesting. So, so far we've got. Oh, there you go. Sometimes we all fuck up reading tab. Multiple times. All right, everybody. Oh, uh... Now we're ready to go back into a bit of some distortion. I think we got pretty much all of it. I'm gonna play it by myself a few times. No track, nothing. start working it up 50% speed with the track. Give me a count in. What the hell am I doing?
I can whoops. Yeah. It's definitely fast. Um, I haven't heard the actual tra track speed in a bit, but I'm gonna keep working through it by myself a few times, and then I'll bring it up to about 60% speed after I sort of memorized it and locked it all together. So I'll be back. Sometimes you hit a little bit of a pinch harmonic at the top there. Uh, it's pretty hard to predict when you're actually going to do that, but you yeah, know. That's 70%. I'm doing okay. I'd say I'm doing okay. I'm sort of missing a couple of the notes. Let's try it again. 70%. We got this. All right, you and me, we got it. I'm gonna try it 60% just so I can get a bit more control. I'm sort of just like uh, blanking on a couple parts. I'll be like, uh, what is this one? It's not totally ingrained in my head yet. That last part. All right, let's try the whole thing 70%. I'm getting there. 70%. It's a very windy day today in Vancouver. Um, you can't really see out my window uh, there. There's my window. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a very windy day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at least we're not on fire here, like much of Australia is right now, which is pretty scary. 
Uh, so the time I'm filming this, Australia is currently on fire and that probably dates the video, but who cares? All right, try the whole thing. Look at that, a little bit of talking, and we sort of memorize something a little bit nicer, get something in our fingers a little bit better, going up to 80% speed because I'm crazy, and I'm out of focus. I'm crazy out of focus. Crazy and out of focus. 90%, let's try it. I fucked up one or two of the notes, but uh, what do you expect? Let's try one more time, 100%. Uh, I bet you that I'm going to fail. Leave a comment right now if you think I'm going to fail. Comment right now. I'll wait. Think I'm going to fail this? I'll be placing bets on myself. Again, I'll be placing bets against myself. That's what I'm going to do. All right, comments placed, let's give it a shot. Well, it wasn't perfect. Let's try one more time. I feel good about that take if I was playing it live. I'd be like, okay, well, nobody probably heard me make too many mistakes, but let's do it one more time. You know what I'm saying? Well, I hit a, I hit a wrong note there anyway, so. Fell behind. Try it again. I always have that good take that I took. The take that I took. All right. Take a break. I got the whole thing memorized, but that 100%, the last 10% is a little bit rough. Plus I just learned it pretty quickly, so it's sort of new in my hands. There's a couple of shapes that I haven't played for a while or have ever learned, maybe. Once you play enough, you kind of learn all the shapes. What the hell's going on? Not all of them, but a lot of the shapes. Um, and I find the coolest sounding stuff is always the stuff that you're like, oh shit, this is a weird shape. So there's a couple of weird shapes in here. A little bit out of tune. Who cares? Let's do it. Mm. 
All right, we'll do it one more time so I can nail that last one. I didn't nail everything else, but hey, I'm going for it. Last time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching Stress Me Out. I'm freaking myself out. Well, you know what? I feel pretty good about that. Um, I did one take that was okay. So what the fuck more do you want from me? Um, thanks for letting me uh, waste your time watching me play guitar. I don't know why you want to watch this. I mean, I don't even know if my camera's in focus. Who knows, you know? Who knows if it's even in focus? Should I have checked that before I started filming? Absolutely. Did I? No. Um, so thanks for watching this episode of Dean Attempts to Learn. Don't forget, head over to sheethappenspublishing.com. Use my code word DEAN to get 15% off at checkout. And uh, keep an eye out for other videos. I'm uploading every Thursday. So I will probably probably be doing something with my wife soon-ish around the time of this upload, maybe the week before, week after, or whatever. But if you like those videos and you hate these videos, let me know. Uh, and I will not listen to you, and I'll keep doing these ones because they're fun. All right. Goodbye. See you next time.